World War II was a war that more than 50 countries fought in. You can only imagine the impact it left on all of these places. Today we will focus on the place, the UK. The aftermath of the war was devastating in many ways and impacted the UK's economy, armed forces, infrastructure, and society. World War II impacted the UK's economy. Let's take a look at some of those examples. World War II had taken away almost all of the UK's foreign financial resources. So the UK got a $3.75 billion loan from the USA and a smaller one from Canada. They needed this because they had nothing to export and had too little money to even pay for imports. Since the UK didn't have money to pay for imports, the food supply was scarce and they had to start rationing. The UK eventually built up sterling credits with other countries that need to be paid back in that country's currency. According to Bernatico, some industries like planes were needed more than ever after the war. Other industries like railways and coal mines really needed new equipment and were in bad shape. As you can see, the UK was very unorganized and in a lot of debt. World War II impacted the UK's armed forces. So here are some examples. The number of British soldiers that died in World War II is about 880,000. Throughout the entire war, the 880,000 British soldiers who died were about 6% of the adult male population and 12.5% of those serving in the war. About 2.9 million British soldiers that were serving were alive by the end of World War II. The number of World War II veterans that were British soldiers and are still alive today is surprisingly low. There are about 300,000 British veterans from World War II who are still alive today. But about 150 British veterans that fought in World War II die every day. Another way that the UK was impacted by World War II was the overall damage caused by other countries. Germany, Italy, Japan, Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria, Slovenia, and Croatia helped the Nazis deal all of the damage that was dealt to the UK. Every night, the German Air Force, or the Luftwaffe, bombed big cities like London and Liverpool. They bombed big cities because those cities were, and still, very crowded. World War II also impacted the UK's infrastructure, and here are some examples. The Blitz got its name from the German term Blitzering, meaning lightning war. This was the constant bombing on big cities carried out by the Luftwaffe. The Blitz started on September 7, 1940, or can be called Black Saturday, and ended on May 11, 1941. 14,849 bombs were dropped east of London, and 904 were dropped on Liverpool. The most concentrated attack on the UK was the air raid on Coventry. This is where 503 tons of bombs were dropped, killing 568 people and badly injuring 850 people. 200,000 people lived in Coventry, so everybody knew someone who died or was injured. Birmingham was the third most bombed city after London and Liverpool. 5,129 bombs were dropped on Birmingham during the Blitz. Last but not least, World War II impacted the UK society, and here are some examples. During the Blitz, 40,000 civilians died, and almost half of the deaths happened in London. All of the toy and car factories were shut down and used to make parts of tanks, planes, and anything else that were at high demand during the war. In London, over 1,400,000 people were homeless, and 1,150,000 houses had been damaged. According to Tim Gray, most parents sent their children to the countryside to keep them safe and from all of the bombings. All in all, World War II impacted the UK's economy, infrastructure, society, and a small part of its forces. World War II impacted the UK in many different ways, more than I've just listed. So imagine yourself living in the UK through the entire war.